How many times did your mother tell you not to play with your food? Well, with us today are two people who not only play with food, they experiment with it. Lily Binns and Patrick Buckley are co-authors of The Hungry Scientists. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hi. Okay, now, just before when we were talking, who's the scientist? Who's hungry? I'm hungry. He's scientist. I'm scientist. All right, and, <laughs> and you guys have known each other forever and ever. What is the idea behind this book? The Hungry Scientist Handbook is for people who truly love to play with their food. Mm -hmm. It's a collection of projects for techies and foodies right. that combines gadgetry with gastronomy. It's a lot of fun. I, I mean, like there's that. something here. We, like, we really I want like you to have like the alliteration in there. Yeah, a right? good time in your kitchen. Yeah. Your kitchen's your laboratory, so right. why not experiment? And you know what? This would be great stuff to do with kids, right? When you Absolutely. think, I mean, Absolutely. some of this stuff is really cool, yeah. and you could trick them into. <laughs> right, you could trick them into educating themselves. <laughs> right, and not only trick them into loving science, but tricking them into loving food they might not love otherwise. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Right? Yes, yes, yes. I like the subversive nature of all of this. <laughs> now, what are we going to do first? Okay. Um, we have always loved origami. We yeah. think it's beautiful. Sure. We just figured out that it also can be delicious. Right. Turns out that wonton wrappers mm -hmm. are perfect for folding, just like paper. Yeah, because check this out. Look at this. Here's you have a little origami wonton noodles right in the middle of the salad. <laughs> a wonton crane, your classic right. origami shape. Right. With a and little if, Now, is this doable? Is this doable? Can With human practice. beings? It is practice. Even you. Even you. You think? Yeah. 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 So you made these this morning, and it's yes. Yeah, steps one, two, three, four. Voila! Right there it is. Deep and fry boom. it, and then deep fry it in gorgeous center. Edible origami. Yeah, I'm liking this. All right. <laughs> now what's this thing? Oops, sorry. It might take off I'm on trying you. Trying to be careful. <laughs> there we go. All right. What's this Excellent. over here? So here we have the ultimate trick or treat: a glowing lollipop. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to see. Easy it there, Harry. Right. Okay. The way you what make it. What did you it? do? The way you make it mm -hmm. is by taking a pen barrel, mm -hmm. threading it with electrical wire, right. attaching an LED light. This is a little okay. LED so you have like a big pen or something end. like that, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Putting a battery on one end. Mm -hmm. I'm lighting it up. That is really to really light cool. Light your way. Now let me ask you a question: Because could you stick that into a potato or a, li a lemon, yeah, you for could... instance, and? Make that work? Sure, you can well, make lemons or potato batteries. They're very, yeah. very low voltage, but yeah, that, it doesn't does last work. for a long time. Yeah. But an LED light does take a lot of power. It's true. So they you, don't. Yeah, that'd be cool. You yeah. know your I'm, science. No, All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Now, what are we going to do? So now we're going to make liquid nitrogen ice cream. And this is a lot of a lot. Can of I just fun. say, yeah. I've been in morning television a long time. <laughs> sure. It's the first time anybody's ever said Yay. that. Really? All right. Well, there's right. a first for It's everything. our first morning for liquid nitrogen <laughs> ice cream, everybody. What do you say? We've got. An early, you know, an early show special. Since we need a little pick up and go, we've mm -hmm. got espresso, which right. uh, we'll make. We're gonna put that cream. in the ice. Cream? We're gonna throw that in the ice oh, cream. I like that. I like and, that for a start. And bacon. You don't usually see bacon in ice cream, but you know. Just roll with it. This is. Okay. I'm telling okay. you, it's okay. good. It's yeah. good. So I'm gonna release myself to the science. Yeah. Sweet now, and salt. Now mm -hmm. we've got our base. Right. Got which your is milk. Just milk, sugar, and mm -hmm. cream, mm -hmm. and our liquid nitrogen. And so which this is the fun part. Look at this. The great thing about liquid nitrogen ice cream is that, as you'll see, freezes instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Liquid nitrogen is about negative 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually. So it drops the temperature mm -hmm. super fast. Um, you can add any flavoring you like. Sure. Pomegranates, rose water, kiwi, hot cayenne pepper. Right. And even alcohol, and which where, you can yeah. And where do you do. usually pick up your liquid nitrogen? You know, there's a place not too far from here. Uh, welding supply stores are the perfect <laughs> place to get your liquid nitrogen. Honey, and I'm stopping at the green right. grocer and, and at the plumbing supply go. store. There's Look your, at that. You yeah, you want to try it? Should go for I? It. Go right. for if it. you're daring. Mmm. <laughs> How is it? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so go. great. Lily Vince, Patrick Buckley, really appreciate it. And the book is Hungry Science cookbook, right? Hungry Scientist. Scientist Handbook. There you go. Handbook. For more information from the Hungry Scientists, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. The bacon's starting to come, and it's not, <laughs> just not really my favorite.